Welcome to CASPA's coursework entry tutorial. This step-by-step -step web video will guide you through entering schools and listing basic course information. Before you can begin entering your coursework, you first must enter your college and universities attended in the institution's attendance section. To list the school, click Add New College in the upper left-hand corner. You can then click Find a College to bring up our school list. Select the state in which you attend school, and then select the name of your college or university. Most schools are listed on this list, so if you can't find it right away, do check it several times before selecting a non-listed institution. Then enter the earliest date you attended the institution to the most recent date you attended or plan to attend, regardless of any gaps in attendance. Then click Save to go back to the institution's attendance section. Make sure you enter a degree for each institution you attended. Even if you didn't receive a degree at all, you can then select No Degree. Enter the month and year you received or plan to receive the degree. And you can enter your major and second major or minor. If you received more than one degree for the same institution, click Add Degree to add a second degree for the same school. Once you've entered your institutions, return to your main application page to go to the coursework section. Before you can begin entering coursework, you first want to bring up your official transcript. You want to request an official transcript be given to you in addition to the transcript you're going to be sending to CASPA. Do not rely on electronic student websites which have your coursework information on them, as a lot of times this information is different than what's on your official transcript. And since the CASPA staff is going to be looking at your official transcript when they're checking your coursework section on your application, you want to make sure that this information matches exactly. If you've never looked at your transcript before, they're all slightly different, but a few things remain the same. They all have your term information, which is usually the season and the year that you attended each term, your course title, which is usually in the center. On one side, you'll have your department prefix and your course number. And on the other side, you will have the credits the course was worth. Sometimes these are called hours and sometimes units, but they're talking about the credits, the grade you received for the course, and you will have a larger number that is called quality points or grade points. This number you can ignore. You don't have to enter this number into the application. So looking at this transcript, we attended in summer 1998 and we took chemistry. So we're going to enter a summer 1998 term. To add a term, click the Add New Term button in the upper left and select your school from the drop-down menu. For academic status, you want to select your status at the time you took the class, not your status now. So if you're beginning with your freshman term, you want to select freshman. Enter the season of the term. And for term type, you're most likely going to be entering either quarter or semester. If you're not sure what system your school was on, you can either check the back of your transcript or contact your registrar for clarification. If you've already completed these courses, which in most cases is going to be true, you want to click completed and save to return to the coursework main page. You will then be able to reach enter your first course. If we look at the transcript again, we took college chemistry with a prefix CHE, the number 15, three credits, and we received a C plus. To enter our grade, we can click here to select grades from a drop-down menu. If you'll notice, because we have a letter grade, this section titled CASPA grade filled in automatically with a C+. If you have letter grades, you don't need to touch this section at all. However, some transcripts give numeric grades, in which case we would fill in the information in this bottom set of drop-down menu. 
When we enter a numeric grade, you'll notice that the Casper grade field remains empty. You need to convert this numeric grade into the letter grade here. For credits, we received three. And you must now select a course subject for the class you're entering. Click here to bring up a course subject list. And you'll see that CASPA categorizes the most common courses under a number of headings. If you, not all courses are included on this list, but major ones are. And you can also go by department prefix if you're unsure. In this case, our general chemistry class is considered inorganic chemistry. So we're going to select inorganic chemistry from the drop-down menu. For course type, the vast majority of your courses are going to be considered regular. However, in some cases, you are going to have to select one of these other options. For example, if you repeated a course, you're going to select repeat for both attempts of the class. If you're entering advanced placement credit you earned from an AP exam, you'd select advanced placement. Or if you studied abroad, you would select study abroad for those courses that you took out of the country. When you click Save, you can see we return to the coursework section with the term entered and this class listed under the term. Now, we only took one class for the summer of 1998, so we want to move on to the next term. Click Add New Term to start the new one, which would be Fall. And we'll check the transcript again to see what our first fall course is. General Chemistry, CHE 21, five credits in the grade of C. Now, since we took more than one class during the fall semester, we're going to click the Add Course button to add a second class under the same term heading. If you look back at the transcript, we took a composition course, ENG 1003, three credits and an A. We will select English as the course subject. And when we save the class, you can see that it adds that second course under that same fall semester heading. If you're doing this correctly, you'll begin to notice your coursework section begins to resemble your transcript, where the classes are grouped under the correct term heading. If you do make a mistake, you can edit each class by clicking the blue circular button on the left on the right hand side. And if you make a mistake on the actual term heading, you can edit that by clicking this blue button next to Add Course. This concludes our tutorial for entering basic coursework information. Please see the colleges and institutions attended and the coursework section of our frequently asked questions for much more detailed information and answers to questions for specific situations, such as study abroad, advanced placement, in other coursework situations. Also, if you have any further questions, please feel free to call or email our customer service lines.